Hey everybody, how's it going today? We're going to begin our descent down the Kinki no Goku, uh, aka the Forbidden Abyss. Um, we're going to start with the first floor, and before we begin with that, I want to keep remind you that all floors in the Abyss features uh, increased elemental effectiveness. And what I mean by that is that instead of the normal uh, multipliers for having the superior element, it will be increased to 1.5 times if you are superior and 0.5 if you are inferior. So keep that in mind if you decide to bring monsters that are off color from uh, the boss. Now, uh, the individual gimmicks for the first floor features mines and poison. Mines, they do a lot of damage. It is about 10k damage per blast if you are not protected by it. Uh, and that is even against water monsters so if you are off color uh, it will do even more than that so do take care bring minesweepers preferably minesweepers over flight by the way uh, but more importantly you're gonna have to be able to handle poison poison in this quest does about 16.5k damage that's not a typo uh, that is per character per turn and almost every turn features poison damage so you are not gonna be able to avoid it so what you're gonna need is either status recovery or more importantly or importantly, detox berries. Detox barrier berries are available through the temple, and why they are important? Well, take a look at this. Um, the amount of uh, damage they will reduce uh, to your monsters is just super huge. I mean, that S plus plus berry at the end will down the poison damage down to 165. That that's just a tickle, right? Um, so it becomes super important for this quest. And actually there are a bunch of magic circles on this quest, but uh, honestly, if you can find a monster that has mines, uh, can handle mines, getting a poison, or sorry, detox able berry on it, uh, and have magic circle uh, protection, well, if you can find it, that's great. But uh, think of it as the uh, cherry on top, if you can get uh, magic circle protection. Now. To start the stage, I really like to aim hitting all of your friendly units and, you know, aiming to get two panels in. Uh, I feel like more often than not, if I try to go all four and go even flatter than that, uh, I end up just being stuck on the bottom, you know, third of the stage. So, kind of like that. I got a little got lucky at the end, but more often than not, I would just be stuck in there. So, I kind of aim for two panels there. And uh, getting rid of these monsters quickly is super important because as you can see on the right side, uh, both Super and Fenrir X's, they were in the middle of the stage, uh, their big numbers features death. So if that hits zero, you are GG for this level. Um, in addition, those uh, Fenrir X's have Sprite Slayers on them. So if you have Sprite monsters uh, and a bunch of the powerful monsters for this stage, I think the S rank monsters do have uh, our sprite types, so do take care about that. In addition, Drogominers on the top corners, uh, instead of death uh, counters, they do have a, a strong poison meteor damage. That will hit everybody for about 11k damage, so that's a total of 44,000 damage. So uh, if you are uh, in trouble HP wise, that can hurt a lot. Uh, in addition, they have Deity Slayers, so if your monster is a Deity type, they will take even more damage. Take care. Now, uh, party, that's the most important thing. Uh, first of all, what kind of berries do they have? Everybody has at least an S. Both of my D'Artagnans are at S, uh, my Napoleon's at S, plus, and my friend Ramiel's at S. Plus plus. So the amount of poison damage reduction, as you can see on the bottom, is pretty significant. And, you know, like I said, all those poison attacks, uh, unless you get really lucky, I don't even know if it's possible, but you will take poison damage, so, uh, again, take care. Uh, now, my party, as you can see on the right, I'm utilizing SF's database to show you that information. If you don't know about that yet, just check out the description in the comp, in the, uh, sorry, check out the link in the descriptions. Uh, there is a link for you to take advantage of that. Uh, but D'Artagnan with her Minesweeper L. Uh, super important to be able to have a source of damage increase. In addition, that bomb that expands uh, as it travels will be able to do a significant amount of damage. Follow up Pierce, of course, you know is great. 
Um, Napoleon, Minesweeper M, again being able to do extra damage there. Uh, along with the Strike Shot to lead everybody if you're able to hit them. Uh, always good to do major damage, uh, especially when you're in a pinch HP wise. Um, and of course the bump combo with the blast being able to activate uh, other characters uh, bump combos when it's their turn can be pro can be invaluable for this. Last but not least, my friend unit is Ramiel. She is probably the best monster for this stage. Uh, being able to regen, HP, uh, Mind Super XL, major damage, status recovery, ignoring the poison, and no magic circle. Ignoring the no magic circles. Sorry, the magic circles. And as you can see, I decided to use uh, Napoleon Strike Shot right away. Again, it's at a 12 turn cooldown, so you might as well use it when you get the opportunity. Uh, especially when it starts to get a little hairy. Uh, last thing you want to do is die with a Strike Shot in your pocket. So, uh, better use it than uh, to regret not using it and dying and having to start all over again. Uh, now, importantly on this stage, uh, there's you see a bunch of skulls. By taking out the skulls, they will flip the uh, blocks. Kind of got lucky here with uh, Ramiel being in between Ymir and a block to do major damage. And especially since it was on the side of the weak point. Alright, let's take a look at the boss. Um, again, uh, Ymir is the boss, but most importantly, uh, Ymir's Deity Slayer M is not active in this stage. Uh, I guess they had some... Uh, what, some pity for us to not activate it but as you can see that first turn is a doozy it will uh, throw a poison meteor on everybody and just like the 22nd floor in the tower of champions uh, if you do hit it for enough damage it will increase the amount of damage per character uh, for that meteor and it already does a lot i think 10k in a unangered form so making it angry will uh, increase it almost to 14k i think so do take care about that uh, but as you can see because I wasn't able to heal right away that healing wall is only available for one turn uh, I immediately used D'Artagnan strike shot here to put up healing walls everywhere and uh, hopefully start to uh, uh, Heal up my team now like I said earlier uh, the suitors and the Fenrir axes their big numbers are uh, instant death explosions, so you cannot afford to spend too much time healing up you basically need to be able to heal and do damage at the same time. Um, right? And if you uh, don't mind the death counts, you will die. So always, always pay attention to your uh, minions and uh, you know, just double check who you need to focus down this turn. Sometimes they heal, as you can see there. Uh, well, I think the boss did the heal. Ymir does the healing there. So. Luckily I was able to take down that last uh, minion there to focus on the boss. Now uh, that bottom right number which is at 1 right now uh, will power up Ymir and increase its damage by 3. Uh, the top left the top left attack will guarantee kill you. Um, I shouldn't say next attack but um, as you can see you know, like I said, that first turn is a high damage meteor attack, right? So let's take a look. It is what? 10,500 damage, right? Triple that, that's 30,000. And that's four monsters that's gonna be hit. That's 120k. Uh, I don't think any team here is gonna survive that. So uh, if you. If you somehow manage to survive to the top left, uh, you will die. The other attacks, top right, bottom left, will also do three times their normal damage. So, uh, good luck. Now, as you can see here, uh, as you take down the minions, they will flip the uh, blocks. You're gonna want to try and take advantage of the blocks to do quick damage to those guys. Hopefully, taking them out. Uh, but uh, the important thing is making sure that you have an angle to take them out. You could get unlucky with positioning and it just becomes really difficult to do damage especially since of those uh, those uh, magic circle positionings it, you know being able to find a monster with you know ha handling mines having the detox and being my magic circle there's not much of them out there 
Napoleon. Unfortunately, my box, the best I could do is double D'Artagnan's uh, with the Napoleon. Even that D'Artagnan is from my town. So, uh, that, that's one of the reasons why I didn't do the first floor of the uh, Abyss for the uh, longest time. Just because uh, until that New Year anniversary happened, I really didn't have any monsters for this stage. So it's almost a godsend that I was able to have uh, double D'Artagnan there. And uh, there's that power-up attack. As you can see, uh, Ymir is going to start doing crazy damage. So hopefully we can kill him before we see any of that. I think the first, the top right one is just a poison attack. But that bottom left one is almost certainly going to kill you unless you have really high HP. That uh, one-way lock-on laser uh, does do a significant amount of damage. Alright, final stage. This is kind of annoying because um, as you can see the skulls are now the blue skulls which means you need to take out everybody before they get activated and making sure that you can take out the monsters in time uh, to get that you know that top suitor is kind of scary. Uh, I think I've seen some people bring monsters that have a bash and be able to take out uh, that suitor right away so you don't have to worry about the skulls but Kinda scary. Uh, Ramiel trying to heal up. Uh, I think she does have a strike shot that could be useful, but trying to make sure I take advantage of the uh, the solid boss with the healing walls. Uh, kind of important. I'm not sure why I didn't strike shot with uh, D'Artagnan there. It's kind of weird. Probably a little nervous since you know this was probably my first time getting to the boss. So, I mean, again, if you're watching this video, you shouldn't assume that I am doing the proper shots at all times. Uh, this is just proof that you can finish the Abyss as a free-to-play player with adequate player skill. Uh, by no means am I trying to show off as an expert, because I'm nowhere near that. But, you know, with a decent... Uh, decision makings maybe you can get that far now as you can see I was able to do a immense amount of damage the death counts on the suitors and the Fenrir X's is at 2 so this is time to just go full-on attack to the boss luckily that strike shot Oof. crazy amount of damage and what do you know finally that first stage of the abyss is over um, and as you see the reward is uh, two stamina mins um, actually honestly I really like stamina mins as a reward but uh, it's kind of painful for all of this work so that's it for the first floor of the abyss check out the next video for the uh, second floor let me know if you have any comments, questions about the first floor. Uh, again, I'm going to also link the uh, game with uh, guide for the first floor because you should be using that uh, as you go on the stage because, well, hopefully you can use Google Translate to help you if you can't read it. But I uh, hope this video is at least able to give you an idea of what to do for the stage. So thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.